Hi, Ellen Bader. Hi, Jason Gaddis. What's up? And welcome back to another episode of the Relationship Schools Smart Couple Podcast. Thank you. Psyched to have you here. Yeah. We wanted to break down a common dynamic that we see. Yes. Yeah. And it's really where it's kind of it can look like a mother-son dynamic between a man and a woman. Mm-hmm. Where the woman is doing a lot, she's very self-reliant, and the man is you know, a very smart guy and capable, but for whatever reason, he maybe he's a little lost and he feels uh, like he doesn't have a role in the relationship or he's kind of drifting or he just likes, he wants things to be easy. Yeah, yeah, and the woman might be the breadwinner or she might not be, she might just be kind of running things at home, she might be the primary parent, she might be, whatever she's doing, she's handling a lot and mm -hmm. she's making a lot happen. And her guy is kind of just kind of hanging out, wants to just kind of play, maybe have like, when are we going to just have fun? And right. um, they're yeah. kind of on different pages about what's important and what needs to happen for their, yeah. for their relationship or their family. Yeah. And this gets... Uh, this turns into if this is your dynamic as you're listening or you know someone like this Someone starts to feel bad here um, yeah. Often the guy will start to feel judged and criticized mm -hmm. And the woman will start to resent right they both usually start to feel bad. Yeah, neither one likes the position They're in or the position their partners in yeah, but they also kind of Can't see a way out it seems so real or something. Yeah, and we see people get stuck in this and it just Gets, it stays stuck. It gets worse yeah. and worse if not addressed. And this is yeah. where an affair might creep in or this is where they just start to drift and eventually a divorce happens mm -hmm. or because they just can't figure out the dynamic. And we want to try to simplify this and give you a few tips yeah. about how to deal with this if this is you. Yeah. Yeah, so um, can you unpack maybe the on the woman's side a little bit what might be going on with her and I can talk about this guy? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, again, this is, we see some couples like this, you yeah. know, and the woman's complaint is that she's holding a lot, doing a lot. Um, again, she's either the breadwinner and kind of the primary caregiver or one, one or both of those and feels like she's the responsive one. She's the responsible one. Um, she's kind of tracking everything from like household stuff, bills and food and parties and Kids doctor's lunches. appointments, lunches, like kind of handling all of that. And maybe she's also on top of that, also handling um, a significant amount of work at her job. And, um, and this is kind of true statistically, like even though there's more and more women and men, both parents working outside the home, women are still doing the predominant amount of housework, like that continues to be true. So yeah. um, there is a way in which women are doing a lot of work in the world, whether it's at home and or, you know, outside the home. But um, her feel, this woman's feeling is that uh, she's exhausted and busting her ass and her guy is kind of like, happy-go-lucky, wants to just kind of play, like, what are we going to do that's fun? Yeah, um, why does everything have to be stressful? Why does everything have to be so hard? And he also, I think, can be kind of hands-off and sort of, it's like he gets to be um, kind of aloof when it comes to either the kids or the household stuff or grocery shopping or Tracking whatever. Tracking details. Tracking details. He, really he sort of gets details. to not worry about any of that because she's already handled it all and done it all or gotten the kids to bed or figured out whatever, you know? Yeah. So it starts to feel like a mother-son. It's like a, a a woman parenting a kind of a college-age young man mm -hmm. who's a little lost. He Maybe he feels like he's in college, so he doesn't have great boundaries. He's just kind of, you know, waiting at the coffee shop or for his next class or something. So there's a, there's a sense of that. And initially because she loves him so much, she she's not resenting him yet. She's happy to try to help him. Yeah, she wants like to help initially, him. Initially, yeah. she sees that he's struggling and because mm -hmm. she loves him, she wants to come in and help. Right. And so for the first year or three, it might look like her being like, no, honey, it's fine, I got it. Like, I'm happy to do this and let me do this for you and let me do that for you. And 
um, to explain the guy's side a little bit, so he, he can be the type of guy that might lack purpose in his life. He's maybe bounced from job to job, or he's got a job, but he's unfulfilled. And mm -hmm. he doesn't really know what he wants to do with his life. He doesn't really know what he wants to be when he's, he grows up yet, mm -hmm. whether he's 40 or 20. Yeah. And he's still in that place, and he hasn't done the deep work yet to discover that. He's, he's um, thought about it a ton. He's in his head constantly thinking about it, mm -hmm. but it's not necessarily producing yeah. like uh, an actionable result. He doesn't, have, he doesn't hang around guys like in a men's group where that would kind of call him out and try to help him and challenge him to do X, Y, and Z. Yeah, his, you know. his wife might be the only person giving him feedback or really seeing the side of him. Yeah, and he gets a lot of validation for just being a great guy out in the world, maybe. You know, he's, he's typically yeah. that type of guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I also just want to speak to the parenting piece because I, yeah. I think we see this often. So once, if they're parents. If they're parents as well, um, where, he, you know, the, the woman is sort of taking over all the care of the kids and yeah. he's sort of increasingly getting more and more left out or not given a chance or he doesn't take the initiative to to really say, hey, wait, I want to do this or, you know, I got it or I want to figure this out myself with the with the baby or the children. And yeah, um, and then it just slowly becomes, you know, as the mom gets more and more proficient at taking care of the kids, it's just gets almost harder and harder, I think, for her to hand over um, the care, some of the, parenting, some of the parenting, especially early on, if, if yeah. he's not, if he's not engaged from an early, yeah. the early ages. So yeah. an example would be, I've had a number of male clients over the years who um, make comments like, well, I can't compete with the boob. For example, mm. if she's breastfeeding and the baby's crying um, and the, the dad's got the baby, then he immediately hands her to the wife to calm the child with breastfeeding, for example. Mm -hmm. That would be one scenario, right? Mm -hmm. And then he'll make comments in his head quietly, and then to me later, well, you know, I can't compete with the boob, rather than I actually don't know how to regulate myself while holding the baby, and I haven't learned yet, and I can learn that, and I want to work on that. Mm -hmm. he, he, that's the work he's not doing. Instead, he's deferring. Yeah. Yeah. And then she happily is like, here, yeah, I'll just give him to me. Yeah. Or just give her to me. Yeah, because everyone wants to calm a baby down. Yeah, no one wants to <laughs> no sit one. and have a crying baby. <laughs> yes. And that can also happen at night where the, the husband will sleep in the other room for years. Right. Um, which, again, can impact the marriage because he works and she doesn't, let's say, and he needs to get sleep. I've seen this play out many times. Yeah, and I also think, I just want to say there yeah. that the person caring for the child needs sleep exactly because they're regulating we went through this a tiny times. human being and, and she, yeah the, the person working has sleep. it easier in some ways it's not as you can be a little off and still send emails or something <laughs> well but. that could be argued i don't want to get into a gender work <laughs> anyway they, they both need sleep <laughs> both parents both need, need sleep. sleep and ellen and i you know we're a team so i'm gonna you know, tag out and tag in. That's the beauty of not being a single parent is that you yeah. get to have a partner to, to yes, help Yes, to help. So this can, anyway, the, the constant deferring can lead to a big resentment. Yeah. And it can also, if I'm the guy in that situation and I keep deferring, I don't have anything to learn over here. I'm farming out my learning to her. and She's doing all the learning, all the figuring it out. She's doing all the learning, the figuring yeah. it out. And then I'm over here just kind of not having to face or confront anything new in myself. So I'm getting let off the hook a lot. Right. So this, we could maybe transition into what, how we can help this couple. Yeah. So this is you. So one of the first steps is if you're uh, a wife like this and you're resonating in some way, we want you to take a giant step back. Yeah. It's just going to be hard. Okay. Because you're a helper. Yeah. You love to support. You, you like to, you, you like to be you're you're, capable. You're very capable. Good strong, at all of this stuff. You're self-reliant. Yeah. You got this. And you need to got this less. You need to like hold this less and have him help you. But he can't do that if you're constantly doing everything. Yeah. Um, for example, when he hands you the baby and says, I can't compete with the boob or whatever he says, um, you, you got to say, no, no, honey, you got this. I believe in you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a nap and I'm just going to close the door and put my headphones on. <laughs> you figure this out yourself. <laughs> Easy, you know, easier said than easier done. Easier said than done. As, as long as the baby's not hungry. <laughs> yeah, or hurting. Because that's some 
you can't that's the mom will know but yeah. you know yes yeah so that's an example but taking a step yeah. back is huge so another example is let's say he doesn't have a job um, and you've been trying to help him for the last year you've been actually on websites yourself trying to help him find a job that's an obvious example where you need to stop doing that um, just be like honey I support you I believe in you don't don't mm -hmm. stop your love and your care and belief in him but do stop the sort of micromanaging that's where it starts to feel like mother-son dynamics mm -hmm. this is these are the moms who um, have don't want to let go of their youngest child and they fill out the child's the youngest man's college applications for example or job applications seriously did that happen to you no okay thank god no this isn't my scenario <laughs> okay you were the, the youngest way. that's what I, I was asking. the youngest and I did get I think preferential special treatment which had its advantages and disadvantages <laughs> big time <laughs> probably more disadvantages I think how I see it now anyway this again it leads to a young man who's uh, doesn't know how to you know wipe his own ass metaphorically when he's 25 or 30 or yeah you know, it's not helpful so what else would you say yeah. to this woman uh, yeah well um, taking a step back um, re just really noticing are you, are you feeling resentful if you're feeling resentful it's definitely time to do something different because that resentment is so it just breeds such problems for any relationship so you want to one way to start dealing with your resentful feelings is to not keep doing things that make you feel resentful so yeah. the stepping back is huge and to, and I think talking with him about this like being open this doesn't have to be done this Stealth can be done mode. with full transparency about yeah here's what I'm noticing I see how I'm a part of it it's not helping you it doesn't feel good to me and this is gonna be hard for me but I want to hand over more to you whether it's about finances or whether it's about household responsibilities or parenting um, I want to I need to share this with you more in order to feel less resentful of you here and um, and then you can start to actually do that and that's that's a huge step yeah and maybe even before that conversation about being transparent notice how in the past you've been blaming him you've been resentful and you keep pointing the finger at him like gosh he never he's always why doesn't he and that can be really convenient and let your that can be a way of letting yourself off the hook what we're asking you to do here is to take responsibility for how am I contributing to this dynamic oh right I've been over supportive mm -hmm. I've been over involved and then you can come to him and have that conversation and, yeah. and if you come to me and I'm your husband and you lead with that level of ownership and vulnerability that's gonna feel really good yeah because it's like honey I know I've kind of been irritated with you because you're not helping in a certain way and I'm seeing my part in that which is I keep kind of robbing you of, of the opportunity, of the opportunity to, to do something different and to contribute in a different way or show up in a different way yeah and he may have do you think it's I think it'd be helpful to see like is there a place where you really where you want to be more you want more room you know is there something you want more ownership around here and there might be yeah yeah so for example with the kid or the bills or the job thing I might want to help out underneath my lazadaisical nature I actually maybe I'm feeling shame or scared that I don't know how to show up as a father when a baby's crying uh, and maybe that's something I want to learn I could say that but I feel yeah. like I'm not being given the chance yeah so honey it would be great if you would believe in me Right. and I can I, I do want to do this but I'm feeling a little wobbly here because every time I have the our baby and he's crying I get a little dysregulated and I get upset mm -hmm. I don't know what to do mm -hmm. okay cool thanks so let's collaborate right. here. let's collaborate I can I have ideas I could help I could yeah. help you do the work you need to do there yeah. versus doing the work for him yeah 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 yeah, and if you're the guy in this dynamic uh, you know the challenge here is to let's say she doesn't come to you because she's not listening to this podcast well then you can be the one that leads this conversation and what ask yourself what can you take responsibility for you might journal about that you might talk to a guy friend about how you've sort of been you've been maybe resenting your wife because she sort of won't let you do things right but again it's 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 not that she's not letting you it's that you're not willing to take the space or take ownership of certain responsibilities mm -hmm. so for example the job thing um, maybe you're stuck in your shame about that 
And if you haven't talked about that, that's a really good thing to say. Yeah. Like, I'm just feeling ashamed that I don't still don't have a job and I'm, and I feel ashamed that you have to help me and I feel ashamed that you're paying our bills and I feel embarrassed and okay, well, no problem. Just, you know, don't go. And again, the challenge to you, the man, don't collapse in that and expect her to sort of mother you through that. Although she's going to be caring, caring hopefully. and sensitive. We yes. want you to actually go get support outside. There's just some things she's not going to be able to help you with. That's probably one of them is like, hey, I, I can support you. I can love you, but you might need to go take a class. You might need to join a men's group. You might need right. to go to therapy. You might need to get a coach to like right. kick your ass into getting the thing done that you need to get done. Um, and then I would be really owning where I have a apathetic side or a complacent mm -hmm. side. Again, mm -hmm. I, I need to look at all the places where I am contributing to this type of dynamic and own yeah. up to it and then make a commitment to doing something different about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to feel way better to be collaborating around changing your dynamic than just feeling like you have no option other than to keep doing what you're doing. You yeah. Know? yeah. But you could actually support each other with, okay, yeah, we, we both need to pay attention here to do this differently you know, one step at a time. Yeah. Yeah. And the male yeah. ego here, just to speak to that, it can get really defensive and insecure and like reactive. Um, and just understand for both of you that that's, that's normal, but not a reason to not deal with this. Hmm. That, uh, you know, a lot of men I notice have this kind of easily triggered around. I'm not doing it right. I'm not doing enough. Um, I'm not helping in the right way. This is a big one for men. And so mm -hmm. th this is going to start to sound like criticism to him. And guys, if that's you, you got to see it as feedback that's trying to help you grow and become a better human being, not as uh, your mother's criticizing you again or your dad. This is just, hey, your partner's, this isn't working. Yeah. Take responsibility and do something about it, you know. Yeah. It's not easy to do, but... It's kind of the only way. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Anything else to add, Ellen? Um, I think that, that would all be a really good start. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Yeah, great. Okay, guys, hopefully this was helpful. And um, thanks for coming again, Ellen. Sure. Okay. Good to be here. All right, everybody. So let's do a quick action step. Okay. We just sort of gave it to you, right? I think the very first action step, both of you individually, is to... Um, go in your own corners and journal about this and then come together and talk about it. Yeah. And just have the open dialogue about, yeah, this is going on and we want to change it. Yeah. You know, what, here's my part. Here's my part. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Thanks. And we'll talk very soon.